Hello chess friends and welcome to your Zarov Chess channel and welcome to a spectacular game that I found on the official and beautiful computer chess rating list website, the popular CCRL. Uh, we have here Chess Chess against another top engine Black Marlin in a crazy Austrian attack against the Perth defense and this uh, Chess Chess engine is a little bit different. Uh, it's actually a, a derivative of the Stockfish engine. It's actually using the Stockfish code but the good part is the Chess Chess developers are not using uh, here the stockfish codes in order to sell it or something we have seen previously the drama between the fritz developers and the stockfish engine which almost ended with the lawsuit so it was really, really i think uh, sort of drama in the ai chess world uh, but the chess chess engine as i said is using the stockfish codes it's actually sort of stockfish brother and it uses a different system it uses the so-called persistent uh, hash table it's a little bit different because uh, this persistent hash table means that it actually you memorizes uh, the evaluations and the current depths of particular positions and it's not running over over uh, some sidelines it actually uses simply the best method that it already memorized before so I think it's maybe a faster way to get into some good positions and actually when I watch now the previous uh, CCRL ranking list the Shash Chess was uh, behind Stoffer so it was actually on the second place when it comes to uh, computer ratings which is really really crazy that's why I decided to show you now beautiful game here Shash Chess against Black Marlin in a spectacular Austrian attack against the Perth defense. So let's dive now into the game. Into the game. Let's see now how Stockfish brother is now playing the Austrian attack. So with the white pieces, Shas Chess open with the move e4. We have a g6, d4, bishop to g7, knight to c3. After move d6, we have now the pseudo Austrian attack. But after move knight to f6, knight to f3, kingside castling, we have now reached the common position of the Austrian attack. Vice variation with bishop to d3, knight to a6 of course uh, playing in sort of a Benoni style I would like to say because black is trying not to push the pawn on c5 uh, the knight on a6 is supporting um, uh, the pawn on c5 and then uh, we're trying to open the diagonal for the dashko bishop which is of course the most powerful piece in black's camp we have now casting c5 uh, here shash chess immediately occupies the center has now of course a space advantage on the fifth rank and now rook to b8 the common plan by black uh, creating a queen side flank attack as i said again with the support of the dashko bishop uh, king to h1 tiny little improvement of the king by shash chess and now knight to c7 preparing in further uh, here to move a b5 that's why shash chess continued with a4 blocking it out a6 trying still to move b5 and that's why here uh, a5 here not allowing b5 if that happens then of course we can we can take ampassan and then black has lost i think a uh, good attacking opportunities on this side of the board so now uh here black marlin plays also an interesting idea uh knight to b5 if you try something like this i don't knight to b5 uh here a takes b5 bishop to b5 then you're basically losing a very powerful pawn in the center of the board but this uh, pawn in the center of the board the pawn on e4 will actually be a, a beautiful theme of this uh, game because in the beginning i always thought when i played maybe not the same but when i played the similar position i was always frightened to lose maybe the pawn on e4 but you see now how shash chess which even allow in one particular line uh, black to take here the pawn on e4 so here after move a5 as we said black marlin continued now with knight to b5 shash chess didn't take immediately uh, here this knight played now the move knight to e2 and now comes the tricky part c4 uh, here by black marlin to hoping to grab now finally uh, the pawn on e4 but now for bishop to c4 now the centralized pawn is lost and now shash has found i think a beautiful beautiful idea actually this idea has been played in a human game uh, played by gerchan verharen against uh, finn vister so here in this particular position also gerchan uh, verharen played now the beautiful move f5 this is a beautiful idea. I'm not sure how many of us uh, would dare to play this move. Obviously, black can take, of course, bishop to f5, and black marlin, believe me or not, did not dare to play this move because after bishop to f5, it gets very, very complicated gift for black. We play simply bishop to d3. Then you play something like e5, we kick away the knight. If you retreat to c7, then with queen to c2, uh, you're having some problems here uh, with your knight. You have to play something like bishop to g4 in order to stay in, to stay in the game, and this line is pretty much forced here if you go, of course, uh, after bishop to f5. 
5 then after move um, f5 look at this we can still still play bishop to e3 you pick up now this one and now with knight to g5 believe me or not here white is much much better when we watch now this position it wasn't played in the game but um, um look at this the dark bishop of blacks is neutralized there are several problems around the square e6 uh white can of course also proceed with bishop to b6 will eventually get here i think a beautiful pawn majority a beautiful four, four versus three attack on the queen side and i'm not sure how black is going to develop uh anymore this dark bishop in the game maybe this bishop is controlling the e6 square but it can be kicked away but i think this uh, beautiful attack on this side of the board would cause now here black river is some positional problem so uh here uh the engine gives here really huge huge advantage uh for white so that's why from f5 a great move i think uh if you reach maybe a similar position you would love to know that maybe f5 is a beautiful possibility so after f5 that's why black martin played bishop to d7 and now bishop to d3 attacking the knight knight drops back to c5 continues the pressure against the bishop and now knight to g3 again still protecting the f5 score i'm not sure if in any of these lines black will take uh g takes f5 because you weaken simply the position too much in front of your king so the only defender that you would have then is of course a dark square bishop so that's why after knight to g3 b6 was played by uh black martin trying of course somehow to open now the b file trying to do again some dirty stuff here uh with the uh, support of the dark square bishop c4 again by shashas we have now knight to d4 knight takes d4 and now after bishop to d4 bishop to c2 getting an extra tempo against the bishop bishop dropped back to f6 and now the stockfish comes out now all, all of uh, shashas here shashas plays i think the beautiful signature move by stockfish plays now the amazing rook to a3 rook lift alert you probably know when stockfish is uh, lifting the rook that probably something something really dangerous will happen and then for rook to a3 the obvious preparation is somehow get the rook on the king side and attack maybe the g file maybe the h file whatever of course if the position is allowing so we have here b5 uh by black marlin trying still this expansion on the queen side but it's a little bit too slow look at this both of these bishops by white are targeting of course the king side and now the rook is included the knight is already there this rook is very active the queen can be included into the game so we have here three four five six attackers of, which are very very progressive here uh, that are causing some damage for the black's king and now after move b4 uh, b5 here first of all b4 played by shashas we have now knight to a4 um solid square i would say for the knight but now the knight is out of game why does want to give up of course uh the bishop for a knight uh here uh shash has played now the amazing knight to h5 this is the way to go and this is the move that cracks the fianchetto here of blacks uh this is a splitting move that splits the, the defense there's not so much that can be done what should you do for instance if you try g takes h5 then the queen is coming into the game rook to h3 followed with rook to h7 is a huge threat you could maybe prevent it with knight to uh knight to c3 but look at this then you get this one rook takes c3 bishop to c3 and now f6 we're locking out now this diagonal but opening now uh, the diagonal for the light school bishop and again game over here for black spectacular spectacular attack even if you try here rook to c8 then we can pick up the bishop you take then we play c5 you maybe take but now the rook is again coming into the game you're trying to escape maybe from the g file attack but now look at this f takes g6 uh f takes g6 b takes c5 for instance you try i don't know uh knight to c5 then we play this one bishop to g6 i just wanted to show really some dirty dirty tactics here that shash just pre prepared after bishop to g6 h g6 rook this rook is coming and again queen to h5 loses the game even if you try to rook to c5 maybe to get the rook more active even bishop to a3 for instance it's working both of these um, uh, rooks are lined up on dark square so i would again say game over here uh here for 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 black so after knight to h5 that's why king to h8 was played by uh, black martin but now a beautiful knight to f6 of course e takes f6 and now there are this dark square problems now there's simply too much pressure this bishop is coming into the game this rook is again activated this bishop is already dangerous we can also include of course this other rook into the game i would say game over here for black uh here after rook to c8 we have now again this motif c5 and here after knight to c5 
and rook g h3 in this particular position believe me or not after 26 moves uh, black marlin resigned so really really crazy stuff let's see now options what can you do for instance you try king to g8 then uh, we simply attack the position like this again there's the checkmate threat on on h7 and even if you try i don't know g5 here to prevent maybe the queen to come on h4 there is still this one bishop to g5 you cannot take of course because of the queen's activity again game over here uh, simply for black so I think Stockfish brother is playing really, really great chess. Incredible, incredible attack uh, against Black Marlin. I think it's also very instructive game, especially this moment. F5 was very, really cool. Very progressive attack uh, here by chess chess uh, in order to destroy the fianchetto we have seen when the knight is on e4 then it gets attacked it uh, can be lined up here so the knight on e4 gets a little bit exposed and i, I was very very satisfied to see how here chess chess also solved this uh, queen side attacks that are many many times possible in this benonish in this king's indian uh, structures when the bishop is attacking so mapping and really really instructive game but also of course a beautiful beautiful stockfish like brute attack here by shasha so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot uh, in the next couple of days i'm going to also show you a beautiful gameplay by shasha in the evans gambit uh, i think you'll be also satisfied really really spectacular game i've downloaded a couple more games played by uh, shasha so it will be i think also uh, um, uh next subject of our uh, next couple of videos so okay if you want to see more beautiful spectacular sharp brutal attacking uh, ai chess like this uh, check out our comment to chess games played by computer series here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content hit the subscribe button see you soon with some more videos and what do we say in the end chess is the best of course